behind. Possession of Penn State. Less than a minute to go. 50 seconds and running. It is now stopped. Frozen clock. 50 seconds remaining in the contest exactly. Caleb Bristolari has the legs to run it all the way down the field, but they'll look probably to pass this, get it down just so they can get a good shot off. Daggett up to Carter. Carter crosses the offensive box, being double teamed by Richardson and Whitaker. 33 seconds to go. Katie O'Donnell, she's got the ball on her stick. Feed inside to Carter. Carter falling down, shoots, and scores! Madison Carter on the feed from Katie O'Donnell whips it home, and Penn State has regained the edge. This BTN standout is presented by Discover and Sheehan. They couldn't have come at a more critical juncture. And Madison Carter's had a tough time getting her look on Cage, but doesn't struggle there. O'Donnell, that's who they're thinking that's going to Cage. They call her game winner for a reason. She likes those low shots, but Carter, just with her stick free, and rips that shot to tie it. She catches anything on the inside, and just her composure under there while she gets shoved to the turf. Terrific finish for Madison Carter, the junior out of Davidsonville, Maryland. But we are not done. 28 seconds remaining. And it looks like on the ensuing draw, there was some type of violation against Michigan. So we couldn't, and now we didn't see the call. Maybe we'll get that reward. So she did get shoved to the turf. I'm not sure if they're calling a foul after the shot. If, this, if that was the case, they, Penn State would get possession at the ball at the center. Tough break for the Wolverines, as it will be Penn State ball without the luxury of contesting a draw. Katie O'Donnell will get the rock, gets it over to Brissolari. And Penn State will now just try to run out the final 20 seconds of this game. Granito and Hanlon hounding her mishandle. Here's a loose ball that Michigan needed, and it's picked up. Molly Garrett, head of steam, gets it over. A shot of goal! Do you believe it? Catherine Granito, with six seconds left in this game, has tied it 11 all. This is why you play for the final whistle. Unbelievable. It's a ward of the draw control. They don't have to take it at the center circle. Michigan's able to come up with the turnover. Garrett with a beautiful pass. The rip of the shot, non stick side. Again, the, play, the turnovers have plagued Penn State today. Unbelievable heads up play. This has been back and forth action. And Granito with the nodding up score back to the center circle. It is Garrett against Carter. Six seconds left to go. Ball shoots up into the air. Knocked down. Here comes Michigan. They have an opportunity. Two seconds. One. Kane with the shot. Oh my it went in. It went in. It's and it's a good goal. Michigan on a last second shot by Maggie Kane has stunned this crowd here at Panzer Stadium. Officials are checking the stick. Michigan is celebrating. Are we done? Well, they got to make sure this is the whole thing. We, we, we talked a lot about the stick checks today. This is what happens when it's a problem. You, the only, the goal scorer is supposed to drop the stick. So the officials are now going, making sure they've got the goal scorer stick. And they're checking it. And if the pocket is good, it should be a goal. Now, there seems to be a delay, so we'll... Officials are jogging towards the scorer's table. The issue is that people, you saw some of the Michigan defenders picking up different sticks. We'll see if we can. It's a good goal. Michigan has won. The Michigan.
Michigan Wolverines. Much like the men a few hours ago have come in to State College and stun the Penn State Nittany Lions. What a win. The smiles on the faces. Unbelievable. Here's the replay, Sheehan. Look at the clock down in the lower left-hand corner. It's got to be released before it hits zero. Is it out? That's the question. The clock is at zero. You can see it's hard to see the ball. It's a little yellow blur, but it looks like that's tough to tell. Very tough to tell. Wow. Hannah Nielsen and the Michigan Wolverines pull the absolute stunner. Once again, the final score, Michigan 12, Penn State 11 on a last second goal. Coming up, men's lacrosse, Rutgers at Ohio State with Mike Monaco and Greg Weiss. For Sheehan Stanwick-Burch, this is Mark Dixon. This has been a presentation of the Big Ten Network.